about enthusiasm. I was thinking about Radhyama. One lady called Radhyama used to come with the Chintamani. It's a, Chintamani is a, near to Kola. It's around 60 kilometers from our place. This visually challenged person used to bring first five members, then ten members for the monthly pension rations and medical support, admissions for children. All this we, we were trying to give. So he used to bring a lot of people, 10, 5, 10, I think, up to 20, 25. They used to come in a big uh, truck. So that those days we were giving whatever we collected, old things like cupboards and old refrigerators, washing machines, uh, cars, uh, chairs, whatever people give to us. We will ask them what they wanted. And the going time, they used to load it into the truck and then they used to go. Out. Along with that person, one lady came. Her name was Radhyamash. I think he, she was uh, right hand to that man. Bring these people. One day, she came alone and asked me. Um, I wanted to study. I said to him, study. At this age, you're looking very old and it's not possible. Um, then she said, if you give me a job, I will work in the kitchen. I said, okay, but I'll give you only 1,000 rupees a month. So Radhyama was working in the kitchen for one, one year for 1,000 rupees. And one day she came to me and said, I want to study. I was shocked. <laughs> study? How is that possible? You don't have any particular base. You left the school or uh, schooling for a very long time. That into of the girl to enter into our campus, to be close to me, and Radhyama is also partially blind. And then uh, she being in the kitchen, she was watching every day. She's feeding the children. And then she said, I wanted to study. I was really taken aback. And then I, I called the teachers and said, if anybody wants to study, give, give them a chance. Radhyama joined the school. <laughs> she passed her SSLC. She passed her degree. She's taken special BA. She got, got through in first class. That is into, yes, into, yes, yes, that creates a lot of happiness. I think this kind of children, if there is, uh, is there in our school or around us, I think we don't have to go around begging because that creates a magnetic field and then people come running to us. Narasim already was another person, totally blind Narasim already, when he came to me in 1998, his father told me, just teach him Braille and uh, mobility. Narasimha was always locked inside the house for the last nine years. He studied uh, in Hyderabad or something. He lost his total eyesight. And Narasimha and I became very good friends because I couldn't talk the local language and he could speak very good English. And we used to exchange a lot of political thoughts, etc. Et and after one or two, three months, I slowly pushed him to do yoga or karate, walking. He used to go back and sit here, there and all. Narasimha! Said he will write the exam. The father said, no, no, he has got a mental problem. <laughs> no mental problem, no mental problem. Let him write. He wrote exam and 10th standard for passing first class. He wrote his degree. He passed his degree. He did postgraduate. He did his BA, uh, MA, BA. Then he, he became the uh, HOD of uh, teaching in the Devanali school. And then he got married. He said, can you believe that into which they thought is not possible. Vijay was another one which we found out. And Vijay was acting like a mentally retarded child. He used to bite and scratch and he, he used to uh, put uh, fire inside the hospital. Police also used to come. Years passed. One day I called Vijay. But because Vijay believed that I am uh, Vijay is my uh, son and Vijay knows that I am like a father to him. So I took the courage to call Vijay and one day I said, look, today is the last day. Tomorrow onwards, if you take the blade and go cut the uh, children's uh, dresses and uh, take the soap and eat the soap and put fire inside the uh, hostel, that will be your last day. I'm throwing you out from the school. You must go somewhere else. You must go. Otherwise, stop it. I'll stop it now. <laughs> Can you believe? Which very next day, he stopped. <laughs> Reverse psychology or what psychology? I do not know. If you are in love and you have entered to tell something and it did work out. This medicine worked out. Yes. Vijay wrote the examination. She, he, he, he and Zinu, Zini sat together in one class and Vijay passed his Zini, he couldn't get through. <laughs> then Vijay completed his uh, degree. Now he's doing his um, MA final year. That is the spirit of success. Walter 
Christ was born on 2nd April 1875 in Kansas in the United States of America died on 18th August 1940 in New York the United States of America was an American industrial pioneer in the automotive industry American automotive industry executive and the founder and namesake of American Chrysler Corporation Walter Chrysler said the real secret of success is enthusiasm when he said Ento, I already told you about three stories of the Ento. Yes, that Ento when uh, the president and CEO of the Chrysler Corporation, Lee Iacocca, which we always, uh, whenever we, I talk to the children, I always mention Lee Iacocca. Only have two things. <laughs> One day, Lee Iacocca in his autobiography said he went to the restaurant, and the girl who was serving the food uh, was just casually throwing things and going. So. Lee Iacocca called her and said, "Look, if you want, you wanted to serve, serve it with love. If you don't have the enthu to do this work, find out another work which creates enthusiasm in you. That is all his life. That is the success. Other we keep throwing over here. Neither you will benefit, neither the company will benefit." <laughs> and another one thing, Lee Iacocca shocked my Indian people and my Indian children was Lee Iacocca said, "My doctors, I have got three doctors, and." Uh, All the three daughters are the best in the world because they all come back night by two o'clock. And my children will not die two o'clock. Yeah, this doesn't happen. Walter Pistola says, "Real secret of success is enthusiasm. The enthu of trying to discuss every portion. Well, there is no real secret of success. The secret of the secret is inside you." There is first of all, there is no secret. You forgot to dip, dip little inside. You forgot to burn up your own self, your own talent to the highest temperature, so that it melts to make a variety of ornaments. The beggar was sitting the road for years to get them, and after his death, everybody digged it to find out whether they can bury him there. And when they went, went a little ten feet down on the highway, they found there was this gold. <laughs> Then they were all uh, telling, "If this old man, if he had digged it, he could have found old. Why should I sit on the outside? It's in connecting. Why should I sit and beg? Why should you beg? You are going to the doctor to check your eyes. Yes, you are beggar. You did not dig into the eyes to do your eye exercise. Yes." Put a saliva into the eyes, yes, and every part of your body. That enthusiasm you have, the real secret of success is enthusiasm. Anybody who does it with happiness, when you, whenever you do something, do it with happiness. That, that penetrates. That makes you powerful. You never, never fall sick. You never feel tired. When you do it, it's full of energy. You can, you can see the first lot of energy finishes. You want to sit for two minutes, and then the second energy comes. Seven rounds of energy is there in the body. That's where you can roll like a thousand men. The real secret of success is enthusiasm. Enthu is very important. You should have the enthusiasm. Means a simple love relationship to <coughs> stabilize just just your some screen to give a hug to your father and mother. To talk to them, to sit with them, never tell you don't have time at all. Husband's duty is to sit with the wife, take her out for a walk, a discussion, because that is the greatest uh, gold mine. Leaving this gold mine, you walk around the world. Even our Karnataka um, film actor, famous film Shivraj Kumar said, wherever shooting, I have, I rush up home. And evening by eight o'clock, I take the car. I and my wife will drive long, long drive to discuss. Yes, please. That into that is the greatest prayer. That into will give you all the answers in the world. That into will stop you from becoming diseased. You will become very healthy. Walter Chrysler said, "The real secret of success is enthusiasm."